we're doing my lobster deviled eggs. All right, yes. Lobster deviled mm -hmm. eggs, mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. And the thing about deviled eggs, because I was born and raised in the South, and uh -huh. you know this, Kelly, we serve deviled eggs at any given Everything. event. Every Everything. Every event. Everything. And if you do not have deviled eggs at your party, trust me, they will talk about you. Bless oh, your yeah. heart. You <laughs> You'll be at the top about. of the prayer list at oh, church yes. on Sunday. You were just not raised right if you don't have <laughs> deviled eggs. So I'm going to show you how to level up on your deviled eggs for your next party or event, because I always bring the party for you guys. Yeah, okay? always. So we're going to start with showing you how to boil the perfect egg, OK? This All is right. going to be interesting. Is there a way to pro boil the perfect egg? There actually is because you know how sometimes you boil the egg and then you crack it open it's like the yolk is somewhat right. done but not really right we're not doing that today this is foolproof so we're starting off with a large saucepan here uh -huh. and then you're going to put your eggs in gently okay so you put Go your ahead. eggs in before you put even the put eggs water in, in first because sometimes if you put the water in it's going to plop and you could likely break the shell right. yeah. so you right. put it in with no water gently there and I, this recipe calls for six eggs but i say add a few extra in because you never know you're one crazy might break. you're crazy right. it, no one might break or you're making your deviled eggs and your husband steals one and then it, right. it, it throws a number off and exactly that's yeah. what happens Ruins to me. the party it does so then you pour cold water over the top or gently cold water start with cold water and just enough water to cover the eggs over, okay? And then we will start our high heat because we're gonna bring them up to a boil. And then, All right. I know they say, what, a watch pot never boils, something right. like that, but in this case, you wanna watch your pot because right. as soon as it starts to boil, you're gonna turn the heat off and then you're gonna move it off the heat, okay? And then this is where the cooking process okay. really starts to take place. So you get it boiling. So don't overboil. Get it boiling, and then you'll move it off, and then you will let it sit for about 12 to 15 minutes. And then we'll drop in our lobster tails because okay. we gotta have lobster for Do our. Do you have to cover the eggs? Before? Yeah, we're gonna okay. drop. We're gonna drop the lobster in. We're, we're doing two and one, in. and then reach the lid, and then oh, just let it sit for about 12 to 15 minutes. The lobster tails will cook. Those eggs will finish cooking. They'll be perfectly done. And as soon as that time is up, then we will shock them in an ice bath. Okay. So this isn't boiling. This no, that's not boiling. That is off the heat. We're using the heat that, that came with that boil, okay. and that's what's going to finish cooking okay. the eggs and okay. cook the lobster tail. Awesome. And that's going to be a perfectly cooked lobster minutes? tail, too. 12 to 15 minutes 12 to 15. with your, your eggs. Then put it in an ice bath. So cold water, okay. submerge it all the way in there. You cannot peel. You can, but it's not going to come out right. Don't peel a hot egg if okay. you want the shell to come all the way off. So that ice bath is going to chill our lobster and chill the egg at the uh -huh. same time. Now, I, I want to try this with Ben. Let's see if you can do this. Have oh, you ever God. tried to? It's a cool way to peel an egg. OK. We're going to peel it in a mason jar. Nice. Have you oh. ever seen this before? Yeah. You guys done this at home? No. Every day? All Every the time? Day. All the time. You'll put your cold egg in a jar, right? And then you'll top it off. Go ahead uh -huh. and put a cap on there for me. So you just give All it right. a little shake and a kind of a swirl. A little just shake. Just a little shake and a swirl to kind of, you'll get that eggshell off. You can give it a little more Is the whole shake. shell going to come off like this? Yeah, keep it, give shake it a little it. shake, 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 shake. Like shake. a shake weight. There we go. Can you get a little bit off? Oh, yeah. Okay. And you can also peel garlic that way, too. Get the shell really? off. Oh, yeah, put cool. it inside of that's a mason really cool. jar. And that's you, cool. you do it so the whole shell comes off? You can do it so the whole shell comes off. Or if you don't have the mason jar, you just you can do this with your kids. I do this with my daughter. Keep her occupied while I'm actually yeah, keep her busy. Yeah, yeah, keep the kids egg. busy. There you yeah. go. Shake or you can just peel it under cold water. It doesn't matter. That's yeah, that's, cool. Cool. that's really cool. That's a fun way to do that. You guys can try that trick at home. You're welcome. There you go. There All you right. have it. So while you, you get your, your shells oh. off, and then we have to make the filling, because that's the fun right. part about a deviled egg, right? Uh -huh. So I have a, over here okay. an egg that's already peeled. And of course, you're going to slice it lengthwise. Mm -hmm. And we will drop this inside here. And I love doing these kind of recipes, because I'm debuting my new website. Everybody's got to check out yes. chefjamaica.com. And I do a lot of unexpected recipes. So it's over 60 recipes. And it's really about bringing the party, celebrating life. Because I'm, I'm the life of the party. I call myself that. I live my life that way. Definitely. And it's about celebrating food and family and good company. having a good cocktail. Like, that's yeah. what life should really be about. All right. Yes. So check out the website. I got my blog on there. Great advice. A lot of fun things, right? So we'll. This is making the filling right now. This right? is the filling All for right. our eggs. You just break it up. You see how the, they're perfectly a bright yellow. You don't want to go mm -hmm. for that harsh green. You don't want to go undercooked. These yeah, that's are perfect. delightful. All right, so now we'll start mixing everything in. Okay. Kelly, join in with All me right. in this party. Yes, we have here Greek yogurt. Greek non yogurt. Non-fat Greek yogurt. Now, traditionally, I know all my Southern bells do not come after me. You're supposed to put may mayonnaise. I get that. But we're oh, keeping yeah. it nice and light. So you can do plain, non-fat Greek yogurt. Or mayonnaise. I like how you said that, but like mayonnaise. It's mayonnaise. mayonnaise. You got to do that. But we're going to keep it light this time. Oh, and yeah. then we'll add in some yellow mustard. Right. 
And that's yeah, the yogurt is a great substitute. I know. I you yes. love doing that in my dressings. Like anything that requires mayo, start using Greek yogurt. It's going to uh -huh. change your life. All right. So now we're going to add in some curry powder. This right? is essential, curry right? Powder. Curry powder. Now this is my little secret, if you will, because I grew up, born and raised in the South, but my family is from Jamaica. So we find uh -huh. any excuse to put some curry in anything, right? right? So good, though. <laughs> but no, it. this is going to add just a little hint of something to your deviled egg that people are going to taste like. What is that? They're not going to pick it out, and then you do not tell them. Do not give your secret <laughs> yeah. away. You're like, mm, what are you talking about? Figure out yourself. This is your little secret with the curry powder. Then we'll add in a little okay. bit of sugar. All right, so this is sugar. Sugar will balance with the, the bitterness of the curry. Because uh -huh. we add sugar. Don't we add sugar in everything in this Pretty house? Pretty much. That's why we're so sweet. Right, girl? That's right. You've been <laughs> sugar and salt. And then put some right, salt in there for salt me. Salt in there. Teaspoon of, of salt. Yes, teaspoon of All salt. Right. And then we'll do a little vinegar. So a little teaspoon vinegar. and a half of vinegar. You can eyeball it, too. Go for it. Okay. Teaspoon and a half. Very Perfect. eclectic flavors going Perfect. into this. Perfect. Yes, and then we got to add a little hot sauce. Oh, we got to add our hot sauce. Now, if you like it spicy, keep on going. Ben, do you like it spicy? Sure. Keep <laughs> going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm Mr. Adventure. There we go. Yeah, you are. I love adventure. And if you don't like the like it spicy, you can keep it. Just add black pepper instead, or a little bit. Uh huh. You don't even have to add pepper. All right. So cool. then, love it. the trick with this, once you start. Did you see her stick that in there? All right, so Kelly likes spicy eggs, everybody. That's her, that's all her. All You've right. been working with uh, Dr. Oz? Yes, I'm on Dr. Oz every Wednesday. Yes, it's the dish on awesome. Oz. Yeah. I love Dr. Oz. It's such a great opportunity. And I mean, I get to cook, we hang out, we have cocktails, that's yeah. kind of the pattern with me. The party's always with good cocktails, but we have lots of great recipes and everybody, we just have so much fun on the show. What's your yeah. drink so of choice? Great. What's your favorite cocktail? A mojito. A mojito. A mojito. Yes, they like Sofia say. Vergara. Oh, yes. Yes. You, you say it, it just rolls off the tongue. You feel sexy mojito. just saying it, and yeah. then you drink it, and you're it. like, Can oh, I please I have it. a mojito, please? Mojito. All right, so we have our eggs going. All the right. tip is you must taste it at this point, because once you fill your eggs in, you can't uh -huh. go back with it. Right. So right. you guys go ahead and taste that. Right. Make sure you can adjust with any seasoning. And then you can spoon in your filling once you get it right. Do we like? <laughs> That's hot. I'm <laughs> I like it. That's totally fine. All right, Kelly loves it. He can't take the heat. That's great. All right, so you see, I have a little jar here to kind of help me fill All right. my piping bag here. You can use a piping bag or a plastic bag. Okay. This is a homemade piping bag. This is just a plastic. This is this is a plastic bag, or you can do professionally with it. Okay. And then let's put this down in here. And we'll do our filling. But I love bag. it if you find things around your house that you can use as like multi purpose right. use right. items. Yes. I love it. And you can fill it in any way Beautiful. you like. And don't forget, we got the lobster here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Gotta do a slice of lobster. And always do a little extra lobster tail too, because somebody's right. gonna snatch the lobster. I Thank you. Here, like, I think I know what I'm doing. You, you did. Got that was this perfect. girl, you yeah. got this. And then you just dress it up. And I tell Beautiful. people, you can do so many things with deviled eggs. You can do like fried chicken tenders uh -huh. and slice up like a Nashville hot chicken. Mm -hmm. Put that there, a pickled jalapeno. Like there's so many I different ways you can, you can have fun with a deviled egg. And do an assortment. That's beautiful though. So your next party, people have choices. Very decadent. add a little chive. Love it. So beautiful. there you go. Lobster deviled <laughs> eggs. Everybody loves those, right?